So in my first video I showed um, how to make a long wire antenna um, using parts that don't require any soldering um, and yeah I demonstrated that that can work quite well. Um, at the end of the video um, uh, once the antenna was installed the final connector to the radio was this crocodile clip. Um, so while it works well um, it does and um, the crocodile clip has a tendency you know to slip off sometimes if um, you move the radio around or yeah if you just twist it or whatever um, <clears throat> so I decided to look for a more permanent solution and again keeping with the theme of not requiring soldering um, I found um, these, uh, this aerial jack um, for the end of um, a coax cable um, and that will uh, go directly into the antenna slot is here on the radio um, so it's just for anyone who is you know worried about how you set these things up or you know looking for um, a, a different option other than soldering so as you can see um, I got both of these parts in um, Maplin. Um, the mini TV aerial adapter, um, which is a mono um, connector, um, and it's just this is just a standard um, coax um, connector, um, and you can see that one's called the HQ coax plug, and as I said, the mini TV aerial adapter, both from Maplin's. Yeah, so both the codes are there, um, as you, and you can reference those. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just take off the uh, crocodile clip and um, yeah, put these two parts on, and we'll see what results we get. Right, so I have put the connector on, and. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, so we've got the, the coax end connector here and the an antenna connector here. So um, I've tried to decide to try it on a, an old reliable station, so 4625, so the buzzer, everyone knows that one. Um, it's a bit patchy this evening, I don't think the conditions are great, I haven't been for the past few days. I get a lot of interference and noise as well. I don't know, I have a dishwasher on here in the background, so it could be that. But anyway, I'm going to put it into the antenna um, port here, or whatever you call it, and see what we get. Take it out again. So I've put down the whip. I don't know if that was picking up a lot of local interference in here, so um, it's definitely dropped off the signal intensity anyway. It's pretty low, so I'll just try the antenna jack again, see what happens. Yeah, that's a mega difference. Yeah, there's obviously a bit of interference in here as well. Um, yeah. So we've got full bar. And without it, practically none. Cool. Happy with that.